Extensive fog bank up against the west coast today. We're looking at a bit of clearing taking place to our north here across the Oregon border, southern Oregon, working its way in our direction. We saw a little sunshine peeking out here late this afternoon. We'll look for the low clouds to fill in again tonight. And out over the high country of the Trinity Alps, a few buildups out there tonight extending up past Mount Shasta and into southern Oregon with the potential for some thunderstorm activity continuing into the early morning hours. Temperatures today cooler throughout the region. Coast side, 56 on Humboldt Bay, 54 out at the airport, as was Oric and Crescent City. Brookings, for that matter, also 54 today. Willow Creek at 86, Garberville 81, and Redding 87. We'll look for those interior temperatures to cool a few degrees again tomorrow, mid to low 80s, likely to prevail while we stay in the mid to upper 50s here at the coast. A few low 60s thrown in there, like Blue Lake. Fortuna may actually get to 60 tomorrow. Shelter Cove, look at that, 68 down there today. As again, they saw some good sunshine just south of Cape Mendocino. That wasn't the case around Humboldt Bay for most of the day. You can see the fog bank is quite extensive throughout the state here, extending down into the Southland as well. However, they are picking up a little more afternoon clearing down there than we have of late. We'll look for the low cloud pattern to hang on pretty much through the weekend. As you can see, it's quite extensive in the offshore waters. This weak little ripple crossing through the area tonight resulted in some clearing along the southern Oregon coast. It's also responsible for the buildups out over the high country. Once it leaves, the fog will settle back in for the weekend here with just partial bits of afternoon clearing expected along the 101 corridor and the potential for a bit of fog drip out there in the early morning hours through the weekend. Here's a pretty well-formed frontal system that's marching across the Pacific. At this point, we won't see any effect from that until probably early next week. So we'll look for the uh, low cloud deck to be with us on and off here pretty much through the weekend. Uh, elsewhere across the nation, strong thunderstorms once again across central Texas into Arkansas and Louisiana. Pretty quiet for the rest of the country with our lows for tonight expected once again to be in the mid to upper 40s coast side, upper 40s to low 50s across the interior with daytime highs tomorrow. A little warmer than today, still looking for some afternoon mixing out there to bring the sunshine in a little earlier. So let's call it mid to upper 50s at the coast. A few low 60s sprinkled in here and there while the interior continues to feel the effects of that coastal fog bank. They will cool into the upper 70s to low 80s for tomorrow. Then we'll look for a gradual warm-up across the interior through the weekend. Friday night into Saturday, another one of those weak ripples headed our way, which could bring a chance of some measurable precip into the area just in time for graduation. You notice they were putting the tarps up out on the track, as always. They're planning accordingly. That uh, precipitation won't amount to much, and it'll probably look more like drizzle than anything else here at the coast, resulting in a few clouds across the interior into the weekend and then we see things warming up again into the beginning of next week so slowly but surely we're shifting into a summer mode across the region looking forward to it jim yeah it should be a good one all right thanks